Hello there, Mr. Donning from Music of Kirklees, and here is our second tuba lesson. Okay, so in the first one we covered minims and crotchets, and we introduced a few quavers just at the end. So today we're going to go over those again, making sure we can get our crotchets and quavers nice and neat. So the first piece is rolling, you'll see the music above. Let's have a go, G, F and E flat. I'll play it first, and then you can have a go. Try and only breathe in the rests. Okay, press pause. Your turn. See how you get on. Okay, hope that went well. Let's have a uh, try together. I'll count to four. We'll both play rolling at the same time. One, two, three, four. Hopefully you breathe at the same time as me, and that will help it sound really, really good there. Okay, and moving on. More quavers. Same three notes this time, but we've now got the banana wrap. Okay, so E flats, Fs, and Gs. Just more quavers. So really concentrate on that articulation and see how we get on with this one. pause see how you get on if you need to slow it down absolutely fine or if you're feeling adventurous try pushing it on a little bit in tempo okay let's try that one together are you ready remember with this one don't slip up one two three four Good. So hopefully that went nice and smoothly for you. And the final one today is Groovy Chops. Bit of a longer piece, this one. Many more notes in it, many more quavers. But we're introducing that new note, the A flat. So that is your first valve for those bass clef uh, players. And it's just a little bit higher. It's nice and easy to get this one, so no major problems. Watch out for the rests in this. You'll notice the rests are two beats long, so make sure we don't have any uh, unwanted solos in those gaps. So have a listen to Groovy Chops. Okay, so you notice there's many more notes, much trickier that one, so take your time, there's no rush. And if you can't manage it today, do not worry. See what you can do. It's not quite so predictable, that tune as well, makes it a bit more challenging. So press pause on the video, have a practice, and when you feel comfy, come back again. Okay, much trickier, yeah. Let's give it a go, and we'll play it both together and see if we can get through to the end. Okay. Here we go, groovy chops, me and you at the same time. After four, one, two, three, four. Well done. And other things you can do when you feel more comfortable with any of those pieces, try varying the dynamics. In that particular piece, there's a really obvious bit where it repeats itself. You could do the first bit loud, the second bit quiet, or vice versa. You could start quietly, get louder throughout, or different things. Experiment. There's nothing wrong with experimenting. The more you do these things, the more accomplished you get as musicians, uh, and the more challenging it can be. And, and that's what we like as musicians. We want to feel like we've actually achieved something from, uh, from playing. So every time you practice, just try and make sure you do something even better than the previous time. Hope you've enjoyed that. Come back uh, another time and we'll find some more tuba lessons to do. Remember, play as often as you can and look after yourselves.